Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. As you can see, we are eating food today. And if you haven't heard, today is our six month wedding anniversary. <laughs> we for six, six months, months officially, which is half a year for those who you don't know. Like, <laughs> feels like um, it feels like a long time. I hope we've been married for years. But anyway, today we're just doing a six month anniversary mukbang. Um, we're gonna be eating a lot of good food that I myself have made. Yes, Chef Shell. Chef Shell. Um, anyway, here we have some asparagus, we have roasted red uh, potatoes, broccoli, salmon, fried cod, and some filet mignon. So, without further ado, let's dig in. Yes. We also have questions that we get a lot since we've been married. Um, so we wanted to answer some of those, uh, questions. Yeah. All right. So I want to eat first. Yeah. Let's dig in. All right, so I haven't tasted any of this food yet. I just made it. Oh, that's good. Is it? What'd you eat first? The salmon? The steak. I love making salmon. Oh, the steak is good. Mmm. Mmm. I don't normally like steak sauce, but this is good. You like it? Yeah. It's store brand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't hear me smacking. Is this considered surf and turf? Mm-hmm. Right, because it's something to see. It's surf and turf, yep, because we have... Two sea animals, and then we have a land animal. Mm. All right, I'll ask the first question. What have you learned from your spouse so far in six months? I would say I learned to be uh, patient and that um, you are constantly practicing two different people um, becoming one and during that practice or that process you are to be patient Yeah, that's what I've learned. What about you? I've learned to work as a team because when you get married, obviously you become one mm -hmm. so Situations in your life you're no longer facing them by yourself or with somebody else um, And that person always becomes a factor in everything that you do so you remember to consider them, you know when you're making decisions, when you're trying to figure someone out, just consider the other person and working as one team. Yep. That's the biggest thing I learned. Oh, wait, sidebar, y'all. We made our own homemade sauces. Mark made tartar sauce. Tartar. 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 Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. No, tartar, tartar sauce. Tartar, tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Okay. <laughs> and then I made grab my sauce. My sauce looks better. I made banging back home uh, <laughs> Cajun sauce. Yeah, it's called banging back home. But I haven't tasted it less. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. This is delicious. Mm. And this is for my cod. This is like my cod chicken sauce. All right, I'll do the second question. If you could describe your experience so far in one word, what would it be? And we both probably have the same answer. On the count of three, we'll probably just say it. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Fun. fun. Yes, we have so much fun in our um, marriage and yeah. people always ask us that and we always have the same response. Like obviously, you know, any couple, whether you're married or not, goes through stuff, but it doesn't mean you can't have fun and not have a good yeah. time with that person. So we've been having a lot of fun yeah. uh, with each other. Yeah, I agree. No, definitely uh, a lot of fun. A lot of people who, um, when they find out that you're getting married and they want to mm. let you know, like, I guess give advice, they're always like, you sure you want to do it? You sure you want to do it? But they don't tell you how much fun you can have yeah. with your spouse. Yeah. Did you taste my banging back home sauce? No, where's it going? In the cod. It's a dipping sauce for the cod. Yeah. Mmm. It is so good. And again, I made all the food. <laughs> yeah, Rachelle doesn't let me cook. I ow. Did you hear my jaw crack? Yeah. <laughs> Taste the sauce. Oh, it's not mm. bad. This salmon's good too. Yeah, it is. Would you? It was just like a sweet, spicy. Mhm. Mm sweet and spicy, and it has like you know the basic herbs like rosemary, thyme, but then a couple extra stuff that I can't tell y'all. Um, <clears throat> this is the third question. It says, how has the quarantine affected your marriage? It hasn't. 
it actually affected us in a positive way because yeah as you may or may not have seen the previous video i was positive for the coronavirus so i was home for about a week and some change and so we we're spending a lot of time with each other and we had so much fun yeah like i think being around him more than what i was you know being at work all day and then only seeing him for a few hours before it's time to go to bed it's like i feel like i wasn't seeing him enough and i was missing him but being home with him for the whole week you know i enjoyed it yeah no i think it it, it was a more a positive uh impact on our marriage because i feel like we got to know each other uh even more than we already uh did so thank god for the quarantine <laughs> yeah Asparagus is good. Ooh, you look hungry. Even though I don't, really, <laughs> I don't really like thick asparagus, mm -hmm. but it tastes delicious. I did a good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Those potatoes are slamming. All right, they're a little spice. Here's where it's they're spicy, but I didn't put any spicy thing on there. I put paprika on there though. <laughs> you want to answer the next one? Yeah. All right. Next question. What advice would you give another young couple looking to get married? Um, sorry. <laughs> I would probably say if you're looking to get married, make sure you are constantly practicing uh, good communication. Um, making sure you let each other know how you feel about whatever's happening in your relationship. Um, yeah, just practice good communication chip. Is that a word? Communication chip? <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, make sure that you remain friends. Yeah. We mean friends. Um, yeah, I agree with Mark. And I definitely believe like being on the same page about everything. Like in a relationship, you're going to make sure that you're in it because you want to get, you know, your goal is to become married. So if someone's in it just because, obviously, that's not a smart thing to do. Right. But just learn to trust your significant other. And just work on things before marriage. So that when you're in a marriage, you don't have to worry about the potential of divorce. Right. Certain things are important this to you. delicious. I had to take my glasses off. I was getting real, but then... It was, getting real. it was getting real. I was eating. Oh, getting real. I don't know what you said. Mm. I'm full, though. I think like I'm getting full really fast. No. And I haven't even eaten all day. No. Have you been eating the potatoes? No. <laughs> I was eating the asparagus and the... The cod. Alright. You want to read the next one? Mm-hmm. What married couples do you look up to and why? Well... I look up to his grandparents. They've been married for 50 years, right? 50? 51. 51 years. They're both in the church, active in the church. Um, they're very helpful. They're very well-rounded people. Um, you can tell they love each other very, very much. But Michael was able to see them growing up. I obviously haven't known them growing up. But the kind of people and warm-hearted they are now makes me kind of want that for my marriage. So oftentimes when I have questions, I'll like go to her, his grandmother. How about you? I'm still eating for her. <laughs> I can tell. He was hungry. Need tissue. Um, yeah, I also look up to my grandparents. Like Shell said, they've been married for 51 years. And I love being around them. And you can still see that 51 years later, like the love is still here. Yeah. So it's kind of like encouraging that even though the statistic is like 50% of marriages fail, mm -hmm. um, but you can see that there are marriages that do last. Yeah. You know, seeing the other 50% that are still married. Yeah. Um, it's good to see that uh, almost every day. You did yeah. a good job. This is really good. Thank you, babe. I need to breathe. Well, sure. <laughs> Breeze. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even... You guys want some of this food? Hmm? Oh, try my tartar sauce. <laughs> All right. Just put a little dollop. I I personally don't like tartar sauce, but since my husband made it, I'm going to try it. And she doesn't normally try my food. 
She doesn't like the way I cook. I love his food. Sometimes I didn't finish. It's like, no, I'm just joking, I'm just joking babe. All right, so this is what the cod gets dipped into. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Not dipped. Like, put it on there. Why not like relish? It's All not right, bad. Let's taste it. Did you eat any broccoli? Mmm. It's mm. not bad. You like it now. But it tastes relishy though. Because it has relish on there. I like. Ooh, I like broccoli. Especially when it has cheese on there. <laughs> I try that steak though. Yep. I ate all my fish. I wish they get more, but I think you ate it all. The next question is, how is YouTube going so far? I would say great. Like, I feel like, you know, once we start promoting that we had a YouTube channel, we were starting to subscribe to our channel. But then our channel started growing and growing. And, you know, our views were getting more views than we expected. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I didn't get there yet. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I forgot. Where did I even leave all that? You disrupted me. Uh, you were saying we were getting more views than we expected. Yeah, we were getting more views than we expected. Um, so I was really surprised by that, but grateful for the support. And then the fact that people were saying, yeah, I watch your video all the time. Like, I have the notifications turned on. I was like, for me? Oh, for like, me. for me? Right. So I was definitely surprised by the support. But I'm just, I was really grateful for it also. But I think it's going good. We're trying to, you know, still find our way with this whole process. Because we've only been doing it for, what, five months now? Yeah, since January. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to, like, stuff in the future also. Yeah. It's starting to, like, we're starting to get more ideas to record. We're starting to upload um, more often. Um, it's starting to pick up. It's probably because we got more time since the whole, like, shutdown. But Yeah. Yeah, so you'll be seeing some more videos from us um, in the near future. Mm -hmm. um, you put your foot in this. Did I? It's delicious. It was my right foot. That's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, YouTube is fun. I like it. Yeah. All right, so last question. Last question. Is Rachel pregnant? No. Sidebar, happy Mother's Day. Today's Mother's Day, in addition to our six month anniversary. But no, I am not pregnant. For the record, I am not pregnant. We will let you know when I am pregnant. Yeah. But as of right now, I am no baby chef, okay? <laughs> yeah, people do ask us that question um, a lot. Not necessarily like, um, is Rachelle pregnant? But. Like, when are we having kids? Yeah, like, when are you guys having kids? You know, you guys need to hurry up and have kids. Um, but we are planning to have children. It's just a future thing. It's not a not a right now thing. Yeah. So, but we will let you guys know once we decide to start having children. Mm -hmm. So we have gifts for each other. We got each other six month anniversary gifts. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so we are gonna present them to each other. This, this is gift time, okay? So like we said, six month anniversary, we chose to Give each other gifts, so I'm gonna go get Mark, Mark's gift first. You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, close your eyes. I'm gonna go get close your eyes. I'm nervous. Alright. Alright. Alright, keep your eyes closed. Alright. Alright, move your hand. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Wait, don't open your door. All right, three, two, one, open. <gasps> you brought me a PlayStation. I did. You always wanted one. <laughs> and you got me Call of Duty. I think Modern Warfare. I think that's what you would have wanted. Don't you like fighting games? I do like Call of Duty. This is an older. They one. didn't have. They said that was the newest one. Is it? Yeah, I asked them. I was like, what's the newest call to Because I don't know anything about games. I can't believe you brought me one. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you excited? I'm sorry. Oh, we want two. Um, you play Fortnite? I heard you can download that. Yeah, right? I'm about to become a streamer. Oh my gosh. All right. Probably wasn't going to let you play. <laughs> All right, close your eyes. All right. I had to drink something. Oh, cool. All right, close my eyes. 
Did you know I would give you a PlayStation? I did not know. Did you just crack it out? Mm-hmm. All right, let me know when I go with my eyes. All right, keep your eyes closed. Okay. This is something that you've been wanting for a while now, but I decided to bite the bullet and buy it. What is it? This is not my, this was not, I was not going to get this for her at first, but the first thing fell through. I'll tell you about that later. Um, but this was the second thing. Okay. Is that open my eyes? Yes. Give me a look. <gasps> It's both. It's an 11 in one. Honey! Pressure cook air fryer roast big boy sauté dream still cook sous sous vide. I don't know how to sous vide. Dehydrate and keep warm. Eight eight quarts. Eight quarts. Honey, call me an instant pot. Oh, it's big. This is huge. Yeah, look this at this. Huge. Can't even see me past it. Thank you, honey. Give me kisses. Yeah, no, this is huge. You, you couldn't even see me pat. You couldn't even see our kiss. Yeah. Honey. Thank you, babe. Wow. Listen, y'all think I'm annoying with the cooking stuff on Instagram? Well, it's about to be amped up times a hundred. <laughs> okay. I know. Thank you. So my first thing I was going to get you was a car. I know. How'd you know? Because. <laughs> You saw my phone last night? Because I was on, so me and my were going to hit that TikTok, and I saw a notification come down and said 2020 Chevy Equinox. It was, yeah, it was 2012. 2012? It was a 2012, but it ended up being a scam, so I was like... It was a scam? Yes. Oh. Yeah, the lady... was a scam. So, it was from the app, uh, OfferUp. Oh, yeah. Was it from the link I sent you? It was one of the links you, sh you yeah. sent me, but I was al I already inquired about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I had messaged her, and was like, is your car still available? Um... And she was like, yeah, it's only 92,000 miles on it. She sent me more pictures of the car. And, and I had asked her, like, why are you selling it? Is mm -hmm. the repair too much? You mm -hmm. know? And she was like, no, my husband just passed away four months ago. This was the car he was driving. We had just got it for him. And I'm off to go to the military to mm -hmm. do a medical mission or something like that. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, man, that's crazy, you know? And I'm thinking, like, it's a little more discounted because she kept saying I'm trying to hurry up and sell it yeah. to just to get it off my hands so, so I can leave. And she was like, yeah, when you're ready to pay for it, I want to have eBay send you the invoice. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like the car within seven days, I'm going to, they're going to refund you the money. Like, yeah. they don't release the money to her or whatever mm -hmm. she was saying. So I was like, oh, okay, sound very legit. Yeah. The eBay invoice came in, and that's when I was like, this is a scam. Why? What happened? It, it, she wanted to be paid in gift cards. What? Yeah, she wanted to be paid in gift cards to like Walmart and other stuff like that. So then eBay has an email that if you think something is suspicious coming from them mm -hmm. um, or with their name on it, to email this email. So I emailed the attachment, the invoice, and they're like, yeah, this is not us. What? Yeah, so then I looked the car back up on OfferUp. I typed in 2012 Chevy Equinox and... The same car, the exact same picture, mm -hmm. came up 12 different times. Are you in serious? In a different state. The exact same car with the same description came up in like New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, all just like almost all the way down the East Coast. That's crazy. Yeah. I've been begging Mark I, for this for a, a long time. And Mark's been begging me for the um, PlayStation for a long time. Yeah. But I really appreciate this. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Come on, kid. Alrighty, guys. So that is it for our anniversary mukbang. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Mukbang. Mukbang. Yes. Yeah, so um, stay tuned for our next video. Mark will be doing my makeup since I lost the series of three challenges, um, and I have to go in public with that makeup one. Yeah. Maybe the grocery store. We'll see. Yeah. So make sure you like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel, and make sure you give us a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell. Yes. All right. That is all for today. We will see you guys next time. Peace and love. Thank you.